old school soul food family chef chip is back with another video all right y'all another road trip another road trip but this is i'm in houston right now y'all and i'm headed to the uh it's not the rodeo it's the carnival part we're gonna do the like i do every year we're gonna do the carnival it's actually free today there's one particular wednesday that the rodeo have every year that you, you go in before 12 p.m it is absolutely free now i'm not expecting a lot of people there because uh, school is still in session but a lot of schools do certain trips uh real trips uh, because they know the rodeo is free so you know, uh, tradition is a lot of kids there but they come off school buses and little things like that so what i'm doing today i don't know where i'm gonna eat at uh i'm craving some barbecue y'all uh there is so much stuff to see you need. So anyway, I'll figure out later what we're gonna eat. But I'm gonna try to give you a tour of not too much the carnival part. I'm focusing more on the food part and then we'll go over there and show you the little cows that the, uh, the livestock that the uh, students are showing, you know, the chickens, the pigs, the cows, chickens and ducks and whatever. I'm gonna give y'all a little tour of that. So I'm gonna kind of show y'all as much as I can, much footage as I can today about two hours and I'm gonna get out of here before the traffic get back because it's hard to get out of there and back to Katie where I live from NRG so that rodeo is right here playing along at home right at NRG Stadium NRG uh, uh, Hall NRG uh, uh, whatever the complex right there right here in southeastern so anyway I'll be back once I get in there and park and uh, like I said I ain't gotta pay so it's free today to go in. So once I park and get inside, we'll start shooting some footage here and we'll show y'all what I'm getting into. But like I said, it's like 73, 74 degrees. It's supposed to be a high 82 today. And I didn't bring no jacket. It's a little overcast cloudy, but hey, once you get to walking a lot, that's good. I don't need no jacket. I just got a short sleeve shirt on. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back once you get inside. Let's see what we can get into today. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I just parked here. Now, we're going to go take the shuttle over here. And, uh, of course, the rodeo is way over there, y'all. So you got to take they got a little free shuttle here. Oh, you can walk. But I'm going to got enough walking here in a second. So I'm going to just take the free shuttle. Shuttle lip in there. And uh, once we get in there, we shall be back. All right, y'all. We get, get on the shuttle here. See the people getting on the shuttle. We got people behind us. I don't know who was behind us, y'all. But I guess they give the thumbs up. It's time for this thing to move. So anyway, we'll be back once we get inside, y'all. I'll give y'all a ride here as we move off. I'm trying to talk over this copyright music. All right, y'all. We are back here. As you can see, the ticket booths are closed for right now. After 12 o'clock, they will open up. So it's free today until... 12 p.m. Of course, you got Reliance, you know, G Stadium. I can't call it Reliance. Then you got the eighth one of the world in front of us, which is Aston Dome. So, we headed through here, y'all. Like I say, and I got to go through security. You still got to go through security. Check everything in your pockets and stuff like that. Once I get in there, we'll be back. All right, y'all, we inside now. So, what we going to do, y'all? Like I said, we going to focus on the food today. Of course, we're gonna walk by the carnivals and all that, but it's all about the food. So we're gonna go down the food court. I definitely don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna be eating, but I will let y'all know. <laughs> like I said, I want barbecue, but I say that then I see something better. I like the corn in the cup. I love that. So. <clears throat> Fried something. Gotta have fried Oreos, fried Twinkies, some kind of, some kind of fried item. But like I said, it's pretty much the same setup and the flow that they have every year. I pretty much know the flow. I come every year to this. It's like I do the state fair. Like I said, that's Acidon right there. And you can tear it down, my opinion. You got the NRG Stadium where the Texans play. That's where they have the rodeos every night and the concerts every night. Tonight, I think, is Jelly Rolls. I think Jelly Rolls playing tonight. So, anyway, y'all, 
Oh, we'll be yeah. back once I get by some food. We'll be back. All right, y'all. We got some food here. Pizza. The best little pizza shop in Texas. Home of the Volcano Nachos. Tornado fries. Cheeseburger. Cheesy burger bites. So, let's see what we got up in here. There's pizza up in there, y'all. And let's go under this tent right here, y'all. That's what we got on this tent right here. We got Papa, Papa Barbecue. All these are locals. And they here every year, y'all. Let's go up here and see what we got here. Like I told y'all, it's a lot of kids here today because it's free. It's free here. Chicken and waffles. Look at chicken and waffles, y'all. Look at that fried chicken. Let's see if I can zoom in. Look at that fried chicken, y'all. That looks good. That looks better than that grandest chicken I got the other day. Two piece, sixteen dollars. So dude, look at that chicken there. That chicken looks good, y'all. I'm gonna have to try some of that. The prices here is crazy. Look at the prices on here. Wow. Look at the prices on here, y'all. That's what you get when you go on these fairs. Okay, look what we got here. Oh, they got food samples out here. Look at that. Nacho Supreme, the Colton Burrito. Look at that, y'all. Look at them curly fry loaf. Chip foot long chili dogs, five tacos. Look at the prices, too. Prices is big, too. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. That's a Dorito pie. Like a Frito pie, you got a Dorito pie. Hey, hey, hey. What be wrong with that, huh? All these people in here. This is funnel cakes. Got the funnel cakes in here. Look at all these people in here, y'all. Oh, we got the barbecue here, huh? Got the barbecue up in here. What we got here? Got chili over here. Texas fried chili. Get the chili. Oh my God! Look at that, y'all. I don't know who that's for. Look at that right there. That looks good too. Since you put the chili on top of the potato chips, that's what it is. You put the chili on top of the potato chip. Hey, that's 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 unique. Now, yo, I'm gonna be having it going on. This is open here. This would have had a barbecue. Look at them turkey legs there, y'all. Look, turkey legs in there. Corn dogs. I like when they have the little things already set up where you can kind of see what it looks like. This here is New Orleans Joe's Crab Shack. Look at that. Super Pie Combo. Look at that thing, y'all. Joe's Crab Shack is expensive. I know it's expensive outside the place. I can imagine. Out in here, how much the prices are. Let's go for getting on the prices over there, y'all. Oh, no, 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 no. That's crazy. That's crazy. I like how they got the little sample bowls already set up. You know what? You can kind of see what it looks like. Here we got Paris Dyes hamburgers. Hamburgers, ten ninety five. That ain't bad in here. In the rodeo. I don't know what them burgers look like. Let's see what they're doing back in there, y'all. What they're doing, they're cooking them on a the flat top. They're cooking them on a the flat top back there. Look at the prices there. Okay, they got the little basket set up as well here. That's the burger look like right there. Got the queso fries, bonus wings, fried mac and cheese, paradise fries, onion ring look kind of good, waffle fries. Got a waffle burger, look at that, y'all. All right. Okay, what we got here? You got your Mexican food here. You got the taco, burrito, elote, apple fria, nachos. They see they got the little thing set up as well. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. I like this. This is a good concept. And this is what I go crazy for right here. See the elote in the cup? That's me. I love that. Been loving it for years. You got the Cadillac burrito, taco, Mexican bowl, taste of bria, taste of dia, nachos. Churro. All right. Oh, yeah, I got it.
Y'all know, y'all don't know me. I have allergies bad in March, my birthday month. And I have to take eye drops because so there's nothing you can do. I've taken allergy medicine, whatever. I just have to run this course for three weeks. So that's what I deal with in March. Look at Papa Barbecue. They don't have their little sample set up. See their prices up there? So, anyway, we're going to go to the next tent here. We'll be right back. No, we just, I ain't going to come back, y'all. Let's, let's just keep rolling over here. This is what I got last year, y'all. These cinnamon rolls, which I'll probably get this year. Let me show y'all. So I don't get run over out here. I don't get run over out here. Let me show y'all these cinnamon rolls. These things are to die for. To die for. Let me show y'all these cinnamon rolls right here. These things right here, y'all, let me show you. No cinnamon rolls right up in there. Look at that. Look at that. That thing to absolutely die for. I'm coming back. <laughs> this is the prices right here. Look at the prices right there. I'm telling y'all. I will be back and get some of those. <laughs> okay, let's go here to the next food tent. We got Blue Ribbon Grill. Am I going to get one over right here? Good company barbecue, which is good. Best thing about good company barbecue, y'all, if you live in Texas, is the pecan pie. It's absolute. They have the best pecan pie it is in Texas. Without a doubt. Okay, you got Del Fardio, Mexican restaurant here. Okay, copyright music. You got margarita video here coming up. You get your margaritas. You get up on the store right up here. Two limit, got an alcohol limit of two. What they say? Two limit for transaction. Okay, I want you to get your two tarp in here, I guess. All right, y'all, let's go around here. You got three of burgers. Uh oh. Three of burgers right here. Look at that. That's Mr. What is it? Bomb B. Bomb B right here. Three of burgers. One of the overrated burgers in the world right here, y'all. It's all about the name, not the burger. Okay. That's my opinion. <laughs> smoke, all the smoke house. All the smoke house right here. What they got here? Sausage on the stick. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the field burger just to show y'all my opinion on them. Okay, you got Cajun, Cowboy, Seafood Snack, Shack. Let me see, they got, oh yeah, they got the samples over here where you can kind of see. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, you got your little display right here. You look pretty good at that, huh? You look pretty good at that, huh? Good company barbecue. I don't know if they got the pecan pie here. They don't, they should. Do they? I think so. Let's see if they got the current pie on the menu now. Nope, yeah they do. They got the current pie here. The pecan pie is absolutely the best in the world. It's no no comparison, but you'll see the menu right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on the menu here. Okay, I got it over here. Let me zoom in here on the menu. See this? The current pie, seven dollars a slice. It absolutely grabs the bottom pecan pie. You ever in Houston? You never tried good company? Barbecue is okay, but I go and buy a whole pecan pie. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay. What we got here? Finer dine. Finer diner. Let's see what they got here. Sliders. We got a salmon sandwich at white. Philly cheese steak. Buffalo wing fries. Chicken sliders with waffles. See them back there cooking it up right there. Look at that. They're cooking it up back in there, y'all. Look at that. All right. Okay, here comes the hot dogs over here. Look like a hot dog station right here, y'all. Look like a hot dog, blue ribbon. This blue ribbon sausage. Okay, something different here. Something different. All this food up in here. I ain't through yet, y'all. Y'all hold on. We got another tent. We're going to another tent. That's how we do it in Texas, y'all. That's how we do it in Texas. We're going to go over here to the next tent. Okay. What is this here? It's 
see what they got here. Oh, they're Mexican. Got tamales, nachos, quesadillas, tacos. Cooking it up back there. Look at them cooking it up back there. Look at them cooking it up back there, y'all. Okay, let's see what the next one we got here. Cheese and tacos. Cheese and tacos. Cheese and tacos. Oh, they got samples right here. Let's check it out. Let's see what they got here. They got pizza. Got some potato with the chili on it. Chili, chili dog. There's the funnel cake, nachos. Look at that, y'all. Cooking it up back there as well, y'all. I'm telling you, y'all, this is the way to do it in Texas. This is the way to do it in Texas, y'all. Okay, got one more booth here. What we got here? Cowboy nachos. I guess that's what that was over there. You see, they're cooking it up over here, y'all. That's a big old, that's a big old skillet, ain't it? Look at that old big old Texas side skillet there. That's a big old skillet, ain't it? Oh yeah. Look at this here, y'all. Look at that. Cooking it up, y'all. That's a big old skillet. Put that on your stove, man. That's Texas all that. So anyway, y'all, we're going to take a break here. We're going to go inside, and I'll be back show y'all some of the livestock stuff. But I think what I'm going to do, I might go back and try the Thrill Burger and uh, see how it is. But I got to get that cinnamon roll and the lemonade, so I got to make a decision. But we're going to go inside here in the stock uh, building where the cows and horses and all that is. We're going to show y'all a little bit of that. We'll be back. All right, y'all. Now we're inside the... Uh the future farmers of America coming. I wonder what school they from. Y'all know, y'all didn't know. I was president of my local chapter, Future Farmers of America, 1985 to 1986. And we had to wear the blue and corn gold jacket. They're from uh, Chess Cypress Park. Yeah, we had to walk around like that in our little jackets at the, at the rodeos and stuff. I really missed them four years of my life. It really taught you discipline itself. Respect everything, but I see something calling my name here. Say Cobbler Cafe. I've never seen this one before in here. Let's go up here and check this out, guys. Cobbler Cafe. Let me see what kind of cobblers they got over here, y'all. Let's see what kind of cobblers they got in here. Let's walk in here and see. Oh my god, look at this here. Look at this, y'all. They got the corn, they got peas, they got. Blackberry. Oh my god, didn't it come with bluebell ice cream too? I definitely be back for this. What's the prices on this? Twelve dollars. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll definitely be back. Oh absolutely. I gotta get me some peach cobbler, y'all. Y'all know I don't get no uh I don't put no ice cream on my cobbler. That's that's un American. That's un American putting ice cream on cobblers. Okay, y'all, we can walk into the building here and I'm gonna show y'all kind of show y'all uh I'm gonna log off here I'll go to a commercial and when we come back we're gonna show y'all all, all there's so much stuff you can do up in here as well y'all they got all kinds of shopping and, and all kinds of stuff in here see how huge and mongrels this place is in here so what we're gonna focus on y'all is some animals in here I mean, they got everything. You can do shopping. You want your cowboy boots. You want your cowboy hats. You want to do all that. I think we got this is petting zoo right here. I ain't gonna go in no petting zoo. That's mainly for the kids. But let's head back here for the cows. That's it. It's gonna be a long video. I'm not gonna edit a lot out. I'm not gonna edit too much out. Alright, let's see here what we got back up in here, y'all. This is where the kids show their cows and horses and goats. Show y'all a few of them. These people, they really, it's a lot of time. Of course, I used to do this as well. I showed a steer and chickens. Not in Houston last I show, but my local county show. And it's a lot of hard work. People don't realize the hard work these kids put into the, these animals from the time they're little kids to the time they're calves to the time they grow up they're time for the sale. 
track right here. We get run over by a tractor right quick. So anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all. Got the little lamb here. Look at that. See the little lamb coming out. The lambs coming out, they're showing them over there as well. Look at the little lamb. Lamb. The little lamb right there. Nearly had a little lamb. His fleece was white as snow, right? That's good eating, too, y'all. Hey, that's part of the process, y'all. That's good eating there. Look at that. Got them over there, too, as well. That's when they were showing up in there. You see all these people here. I'm telling you, this is a big thing. Look at that. That was being stubborn. That was being stubborn there. But anyway, we'll be back, y'all. Look at these, y'all. Little baby lamb or sheep. Look at these, y'all. Definitely sheep there, y'all. You see these, some of these probably just born too. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, yeah. Some of them just born, some of them about to give birth. Like a birthing center. Yeah. So, yeah, that's exactly what it is. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be back. Here's a little late. That little baby calf was born March 5th. At 1.45 a.m. Look at that. Look at the little. Let me see if I can zoom in. See him right there? I see her. See that? This great gay birth. Got another one over here. Gay birth. March 3rd. Get a better, better picture right there of it. That's the mama there. Yep. Little birthing center, y'all. See that? So, anyway, there you go, y'all. Look at that. Look at that there. Put them horns, y'all. Take some long horns. What did it say up there? Take some long horns the direct descendants of the first cattle in the new world. Right there, buddy. How you like getting hooked with that? How would you like that thing to hook you up? That's a big boy right there. Big boy right there. That's a long horn, baby. Yeah. So, that's the University of Texas right there. Anyway, y'all, we just All right, y'all, I got chickens just giving birth. Look at this here, y'all. They're giving birth. Not giving birth, but they're just coming to the, I guess, what do you call it? Coming out of the shell. Yep, look at that. That one there just now was born. Look at that. Just now, facing life. Get ready. Get ready for Turkey Chicken or KFC or Popeye. That's the, that's the future, y'all. Popeye, stretches or KFC. Or Chick fil A. That's the future. But anyway, y'all, we'll be back. All right, y'all, we got some. Some kids here showing their steer. See all the people in the stands up there. See the people all in the stands. And they're showing their steer. Let me see if I can zoom in here so y'all kind of see better. Yep, I've been here, done that. But not at the Houston Nassau show. I've done it at my local Leon County show. Where I had to show a steer. I didn't place, but man. I did sell the steer in one year. I sure did put it in the freezer. It was some good old brisket and hamburgers and ribeyes, T-bones. Yep, that's what I see, y'all. I'm just country. I'm just keep it real. When I look at the steer, I look at the good old brisket, good old ribeye, good old oxtails. That's what I see. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be back. See, this is what I was talking about. When I look at the steer, this is what I see. You got prime choice. You got chuck. Look at that. You got shoulder roll. You got short ribs. I'm telling y'all, this is where it's got to be real. Brisket, shank, ribeye, rib shank, plate, tenderloin, flank, 
short going, solo going. That's what I see, y'all. Like I said, I don't see no something a pet. I see something I can grill, slow cook, or pan fry. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Like I said, this is a beef cycle like calves. You got your 500 pound calves, then they go to the stalker where they died is properly grazed. Then you went, then you go about nine months to a year, they enter the feedlot, and the rest is history. Well, they iron up right there to the grocery store. That's the cycle of beef life cycle, y'all. Just keep it real, don't sugarcoat it. So anyway, y'all, we be back. You get your custom made cowboy hats in here, y'all. Let's see some of the prices on these bad boys. Like this one's six ninety five. That's not bad. This one's six ninety five, and then they'll custom custom make them for you. They'll shape them for you as well. These are three ninety five. Three ninety five. Not bad. Like I said, they'll custom shape these bad boys for you. Let me see if they custom made them over here for them. I don't see the machine where they're doing them at. Let's see how much these cost over here. These are two ninety five, which ain't bad. I had a friend had a hat for two thousand dollars. Excuse me, two thousand dollars for a hat he bought. This one's seven hundred. Like seven hundred there. I'm telling you, we 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 don't we, we take our cowboy hats seriously in here in the state of Texas. These are some cheap ones here, one ninety five. Get the cheap ones there, but. Just want to show y'all that how serious we are about our cowboy hats. I'm headed to the candy place. That's why I'm headed, y'all. So that's what we'll be back. All right, y'all, we back. I find my candy thing. Oh yeah, I got it right here. This is just a tradition for me, y'all. Gotta have my candy. It's all kinds of candy. Let me show y'all what they have up in here, y'all. Let me show y'all what they have up in here, y'all. Let me give y'all a, I'm going to come back in a second. I'm going to do a video here. Tootsie Roll. Look at these, all these candy. Y'all remember these candies? Caramels. Y'all remember these here? Peanut butter bars. Smarties. Chico sticks. Y'all don't know about the Chico sticks, do you? Jolly Ranchers. Got your candy corn. A lot of people don't like it. I love them. Mini Payday. Rice crackers. I don't remember those. Let's see. Gummy. Oh, gummy chill. Oh, but them things is hot. Dum dums. Sesame corn. Tootsie roll pop. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie roll pop, y'all? The world may never know, right? Nerds. I love these things, y'all. I love my nerds. I love my Skittles. Starburst. You can't go wrong with it. One I like. I love my butterscotch. Love that. Peppermint. Remember these strawberry bonbons? Oh, Charlie. Little patch. Y'all know my y'all know about these. Remember these? Got the, these are new style. These nerds and all that. They ain't they, they, they old school. These are old school too. Let me get away from this copyright music stuff. Mike and Ike. That's for the movie. Oh my God, y'all! These here, y'all know I love these. Just, man, they got every candy probably known to man that you don't just forgot about in here, y'all. Probably just forgot about y'all. Rollo, remember the Rollos? Yeah. Then they got the big ones up in here. Ooh, they got cocoa pebbles. Remember, they got the big candy up in here too. Remember the candy cigarettes? I remember the candy cigarettes. These, let me tell you some nasty candy. This here it has no flavor, y'all. No flavor at all. And I love these. Six, six, six. I used to love those. Chico sticks, the big Chico sticks, y'all. Oh, yeah. Any candy you want. They definitely have it up in here, y'all. Definitely have it in here. Y'all remember these the wax, wax candy with the with the liquid in the middle. 
I remember those. This is my, my fat mama's favorite. Right here, y'all. She liked these. She liked the Zero. And she liked these. Three Musketeers. That was her, her two favorite candy. And she got me hooked on these. Now I love them. Zeros. She got me definitely hooked on those. But yeah, all these different candies, y'all. Y'all remember these here? Milo Cups. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. But anyway, y'all. We'll be back. All right, y'all. We got some more places here to eat over here. We got the Oak Ridge Smokehouse. Got Matt Shack. We got brisket sandwiches. Triple J's. The Triple J's is good. That's the name of the place we came and ate at last year. Triple J's. They barbecue is good. Here. Let's take a little close up of it right here. See that there, y'all? The real good one. Brisket. Sausage. We got jack fries over here. I'm telling y'all, this food all over this place, y'all. You know I got to get some stick corn. The dicey, you know. It's good, good, you fried stuff. Fried Oreos, Snickers. So they got fried Oreos, funnel cake. What's that? Fried Reese's. Funnel cake Sunday. All that low calorie stuff, right, y'all? We got all kinds of pizzas here, y'all. Pizza on a stick. Wow, that's crazy, huh? Pizza on a stick. Look at that pizza, y'all. Look at all the different pizzas in there, y'all. Look at that. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Big fat bacon, let's see what they got here. Bacon, man. Got chicken fingers, little bacon burger, I guess, fries, onion rings, there. But y'all, years ago, I don't know where this place is, they had a hamburger place in here, y'all. They had a big old flat top grill and cooking them hamburgers, absolutely amazing. I don't know what happened to the place. You got Harlan's barbecue right here. That's some of the best in Houston. You got the little. Got the little place over here, people sitting over here eating. We got this copyright music. Copyright music blasting over here. Let's go on the other side here, y'all. Get away from this music. All right, y'all. All right, we're over here on this side here. We go to Corner Dog Grills, Cotton Candy. Cotton Candy, Corner Dog. Gotta have a corny dog, right? When you go to state fair. Gotta go to corny dog when you go to state fair or any kind of fair, right? Yes, sir. Cotton candy. Kids love it. And they have free music here all day on this stage here. You sitting here eating, you see the people here eating right here, enjoying themselves. See that? And you got the carnival over here. I think I covered all the food thing. Now, I don't know what I'm going to eat, y'all. I'm not feeling standing in no long line. I'm going to try the thrill burger, but I'm not going to stand in line for that. I'm trying to see where I can say I wanted some barbecue. So I'm going to kind of figure out what I'm going to, what I want to eat here. And I'll let y'all know when I come back. We'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back again. Okay, y'all, I haven't got nothing to eat. I'm not going to get nothing to eat. Let me explain to you why. There is entirely too many people here. And you can't really, I really can't get a table to sit down and do the footage that I want. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to come back next Wednesday, next week. We got one more week of this thing. And uh, it's actually the day before my birthday. And uh, 
where I can do some footage where it's not free and it's not as many people. Because right now you got kids galore because everybody's it's free, of course. Everybody gonna be here uh, bringing the groups out. They got special groups and a lot of uh, uh, special need kids out here, special needs people, which I absolutely understand that. Take advantage of the free admission because a lot of families can't afford to bring four or five kids. It's twenty five dollars a pop to get in here, y'all. You got four or five kids, and you, and you might be two or three hundred dollars, and you got to pay for food. You're looking at three or four hundred dollars. So I absolutely understand uh, people coming out right today and enjoying this free admission, and it's good that rodeo does that once a once a, a year for the kids to, you know, for them to come out and bring the family and the groups out. That's absolutely amazing. I wish they would do two or three of them during the 21 days of the rodeo but hey i'm not <laughs> i'm not greedy so anyway uh I'll probably close this video out here in just a second y'all because i'm about to leave out of here i've been here a couple of hours walking around i ain't get my candy i'll get my candy next week i'm gonna do another video footage of me actually eating because like i say the lines are entirely too long and even if you get food you can't really find a spot if you do I like to record what I'm eating or whatever, and they just, I don't want to uh, invade the privacy of other people. So anyway, uh, I'll be right back later on when I close this video out. We'll be back. All right, y'all, we're going to do some carnival footage while I'm in the area here. I did some carnival footage, I think, last weekend, weekend before last. So uh, we're definitely going to come in here and... Uh, Shoot this what we call the rip off part of the, of the rodeo. They be ripping you off for this carnival stuff. So we're gonna walk around through here, y'all. Let's see what we got. You still got more food over here, y'all. I'm telling you, you leave here hungry. This ain't nobody fault but yours, right? Nobody fault but yours. We got chicken donut sandwiches. Oh Lord, have mercy. Chicken donut sandwich. What the world is a chicken donut sandwich? That chicken kebab right here. They ain't getting much business over here. We got chicken. fried pickles, fried chicken, fried fries, real chicken. It's kind of slow over here. What we got here? Corny dog, fried oreo. Oh, look at all these people, y'all. Look at all these people in here, y'all. Crazy, ain't it? And this is bigger than the state fair, I think. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it's the same. I don't know. We got these chicken legs. Chicken legs. Look at these chicken legs. Look at all these chicken legs right there. Look at all the chicken legs. All the truck legs right leg. there. He 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 really doing Thank his job leg. right there. <laughs> Look at all these truck legs, y'all. Look at that. Lord have mercy. That's crazy, ain't it? That's crazy. Let me take a picture of this on my little phone, y'all. Let me see here. Yeah, hold on, y'all. I'll take a picture of these. Crazy. That's crazy. But anyway, y'all. I mean, this is where I'm going to step. I got to watch where I'm stepping. I step off these curves and I'm going to hit this flow. Got more turkey legs over here. I'm telling you, y'all. You come in here and you leave around here. It's $20 for a turkey leg. So that's two turkey legs for $40. So I raised me some turkeys, y'all. Right? So I'm here turkey farm. Okay. Let me go up in here where this carnival, where they rip people off there, y'all. Where they rip people off. Let me see what this guy doing. Let me see what this guy doing. See what they can rip people off. Let me see what they doing here, y'all. Okay. Let's see if they're gonna rip these people off. You gotta hit the bottom and make them all fire. Yeah, hit the bottom. 
You hit the bottom one. Hit the bottom one as hard as you can. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what you got to do. <laughs> hit the bottom one as hard as you can. Yeah. The other one's going to fall. That's the key. <laughs> We're going to see if she get it. <laughs> you hear me doing it. Me and me giving instructions. No, I can't do it. I want to see somebody do it. Ain't nobody going to do it. All right, y'all. You hear me giving instructions how to make it work. And I know I can't do it myself. Get these bent rims over here, these basketball. These bent rims. Okay. Alright, they got these big rims over here, y'all. They be doing these basketball though. Let me show y'all here. You can tell the rims. See kind of like it's like it's kind of it's not completely even. They be ripping people out right here. Look at that. Oh, you get a little uh Pikachu, Pikachu prize. See, that's stuff like this I don't get on. Look at this here. See, stuff like that, I don't get on nothing like that, y'all. Oh, no. Look at that. I can't handle that. I cannot handle that, y'all. I might can get on something like this. That looks like it's kind of safe. I don't know. Let's see here, y'all. Oh, no. I can't get on that either. That do too much twisting. I thought it started out good, but uh -uh. I don't think I'll handle that either. Look at that. Oh, no, no. You know, y'all, it's crazy. When you young, you get on all this stuff. Yeah, it's like, oh, no, I ain't getting on that. I definitely ain't getting on that like this. Look at that thing, how that thing is spinning. See how this thing is spinning? Oh, no. I'll be done three or four or five times with that. But when you young, you can handle it. You can handle that kind of stuff. Okay, let's see what this one's gonna do. Anyway, let's go through here, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all some of these games and rides before I log off here. So much stuff to do, y'all. I love that the kids get out here, have a good time. No video games, no PlayStation, none of that stuff. Get out and have fun. You know y'all ain't in nature, but we got the little kids there in the line there. Like I said, a lot of a lot of schools out here, a lot of special needs kids I see out here, special needs people out here getting them out here and enjoy the fresh air. And the sounds of, let me show y'all something up here. Look, see them things up there? The little things going around like that. <laughs> let me tell y'all. I got up in this thing about five, six years ago. It, to me, it don't look that high. So I get up there with my friend. We're going to go, because you go from one part of the part, uh, thing to the other. And they going slow. I thought I was going to die, y'all. There's no, it's nothing holding you in. When you get in, you're just in there. Ain't no scrap. And then my friend in there rocking the thing. I said, man, you been, uh, you can't hold on to nothing. I said, Lord, and you up higher than you think. You think it's not that high. I thought I was going to die. I said, never again when I get in these little baskets and go from one side of the park to the other. Never. And he was laughing. He rocking. The, I said, man, don't be rocking this thing. Don't be moving this thing. He thinking it's fun. And I fall my butt off of this thing. But like I said, you can see there's nothing strapping you in, y'all. See that? It's crazy. But I want to share that little story with y'all. I don't get on them things no more. Once, one and done for me. When I got off that thing, I say never again. So, anyway, y'all, me, me, I'll be right back when I see something else in the rest. Show y'all. We'll be back. All right, y'all. That's the Rodeo World Carnival Part Two here. Let me close this out. I will be back next week. That was this is part one. I'll be back next week for part two, y'all. Well, I'm actually going to chase a lot of food. There's just too many people here right now because of the free day. And you like get here a little earlier, but I just got here right about 11, 1130. So that's what messed me up. So anyway, 
let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Be following all the social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and TikTok. And OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2024. Stop wishing and start doing old school soul food. Till next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all stay tuned for part two coming up next week. Love y'all. Bye.